Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you another sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Owl. This is the August 2022 template, and you can get your free template by visiting her YouTube channel, and the link is in the description below. And she does give these out for free, so make sure to jump on over and check those out. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. To purchase any of the products you see me use today, please visit my online store and the link is in the description below. So the products that I decided to use for this month's sheet load of cards come from the Splendid Day Suite. This is a suite from Stampin' Up! and it includes designer series paper, a beautiful bundle, some embellishments, and ribbon. So you'll see on my cards I did not use the embellishment and ribbon, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at the um, designer series paper that I used as well as the stamp set and bundle. So this is some really beautiful paper. It's got a nice fun shine to it as you can see. It comes in six different colors of metallic paper, and they all have a fun different pattern on, pattern on them. So I'll give you more of a close-up. So this is more of a silver, then we've got kind of a seafoam green, some rose gold. This one's kind of got a little bit of a yellow hue to it, and then a purpley pink color, and then a copper color. They're a little bit hard to see with my lighting but hopefully you're able to see how pretty they are. And they do come in a 12 by 12, and they do have a pattern on the back, which is just um, plain paper. So there's no foiling on the back side. So you have like, and they all coordinate with the front. So like this pink one has that rose gold. And then this purple one, I think is the dark purple foil. So that's a really fun um, element. So we have like Sahara sand, pool party, Calypso Coral, Soft Sea Foam, I think this one is Fresh Freesia, and then another Calypso Coral or Blushing Bride or something. So anyway, some really beautiful colors there. So on my cards, I used the front and the back of one of my designer series papers. So you can see here is the pattern that I used. So you got the foiling, which I put on the left, and then the back side I put on the right side of my card layout. So just really beautiful paper, very subtle. I should also mention before we move on that there are other amazing designers that are part of her team, Call Me Crafty Owl's team. And so each month we all put out a new video showcasing that month's template. So make sure to go check out their videos and you can see those by clicking on the hashtag in the title of this video or below in the description. So just to show you really quickly the stamp set I used, this is the Splendid Thoughts and it does have some coordinating dies. And what I love about these dies is not only do they cut out the images, but you also get some really beautiful detailed dies that are um, coordinate really well with the um, stamped images. And then this fun half circle, you'll see that I use that on my cards as well. So I decided to stamp my images in a darker, bolder color. And so I used Bermuda Bay cardstock back here and then stamped on some basic white cardstock in the Bermuda Bay ink for my stamped image and my greeting. So I should also mention really quickly that I made my cards on some pre-printed card bases. And these card bases are a celebration item that you could get during July and August of 2022. And um, you can get these ones for free with a $50 order. I actually just looked to see if they're still available and unfortunately they are not. This product sold out really quickly. But I did wanna showcase them in case you were able to snatch up a pack before they were all gone. And um, I just love how they coordinate so well with that splendid day suite. So I'm just gonna show you each card really quickly. Um, I didn't do too many variations. Her pattern uses three pattern papers, but because my card base already had the pattern, I chose to just use one um, 
or two patterns and I used one sheet, the front and the back. And so I was able to actually cut for all 12 from just that one sheet of paper because I didn't have to cut out the larger piece for the background. So that's just one little change. I also did some other little changes that I will show you as well. Um, so this one uses the Today is a Day to Remember greeting, and I did it in both the Soft Sea Foam card base and the Pool Party card base. But as you can see, there's not too many changes with where the patterns are on those. So the next one I did is the Let's Celebrate, and you can see how I offset the greeting from the half circle that I placed at the bottom just to add a little bit of interest. Another thing that I did to change up my cards that are different from the template is that I, I'll show you the template really quick. So her image is on the left side and I decided to switch it to the right side to cover up um, that opening between the two different patterns. So I also used sending hugs on this one what I like about that is it creates a little more of a seamless look and because my colors are so um, muted and they blend so well together, I felt like it was um, a nice kind of a transition piece that moved from one to the other and I didn't have that break. I also decided to use vellum for the background instead of cardstock. The last thing I used was just a really simple embellishment. These are the rhinestone basic jewels from Stampin' Up. You can see that I just placed them in a couple of the corners and um, my card was all done. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my version of this month's sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Al. Remember, you can visit her YouTube channel to get your own free template. And don't forget to check out what the other designers have created by using the hashtag in the description or in the title of this video. If you would like to see more information on Stampin' Up! products, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.